Uh, hello. Uh, building turning points Astro indicator with timing solution software. Uh, firstly, I would like to mention that uh, in timing solution uh, we already have indicator uh, turning points Astro indicator, but uh, in this one model we conduct statistical analysis and uh, build projection line. Um, that uh, allows to make some forecast for turning points, but this is statistical analysis. But in this video class, I would like to show you how to build this indicator manually. Okay, so look at this. I already have download. Uh, this is S&P since uh, 19, uh, 1950. And uh, the first step we need to um, define, uh, set the turning points. Uh, to calculate turning points, we use a filtered wave, zigzag. Uh, so how it works? I run in a click here indicator and choose here filtered wave or zigzag. Okay. Oh, sorry. Click OK. And important parameters here. We need to uh, set here the minimal or uh, minimal wave high. So if uh, this is 5% uh, zigzag, and this is actually very detailed zigzag. So you see, uh, the, it, uh, the, the, this zigzag, zigzag shows a lot of turning points. Let's increase the, uh, this parameter, delta, minimal uh, wave, high. Uh, let's set it, uh, okay. Uh, this is uh, minimal uh, value, it's 12.5. Uh, percent and this zigzag this uh, zigzag this, uh, this value uh, allows to reveal 112 uh, yeah 112 turning points you see here it is uh, so let's click ok and look how um, uh, uh, this zigzag looks what turning points this uh, the zigzag uh, finds found okay uh, not bad, not bad. Okay, uh, so let's we will we'll use this zigzag. And next step, run astronomy model. Astronomy model. We usually we use uh, this model to uh, to calculate projection line, but now we will use it in another way. Uh, there is uh, here one option. Its name active zones. Click this option here. You see this tab. And here we can choose the active zones. We'll use turning points. Turning points. And here you can click and you will set uh, the zigzag, uh, the high of wave, minimal, minimal wave, uh, 100, oh, sorry, 12.5% uh, and it covers uh, 112 turning points. Okay. And now look at this chart. What we have now? We have uh, this is up. This is a regular uh, annual cycle. Uh, it shows how price moves while sun passes different signs of zodiacs. But this vertical stripe they represents uh, they represent how turning points uh, distributed uh, how uh, while uh, sun passes different uh, signs of zodiacs. Uh, how this turning points located? You see, for example, when sun passes between uh, mid of uh, uh, this is Libra till uh, beginning of uh, Scorpio, we have more bottom turning points. By the way, we can do it this way. We can display uh, for annual cycle. We can display date, not zodiac, but date, and you see it uh, shows interval since. Uh, beginning of uh, October, uh, end of October, this is a very dangerous interval where uh, there are many, many uh, turning points. So this is an all cycle for bottom turning points, bottom turning points, so then price reaches uh, minimal. Okay, uh, so next step, let's uh, highlight this interval. I will click mouse button and drag it. You see, this interval is highlighted now. And look at this, it shows what is that. It intervals covers um, 7 degrees Libra till um, 15 degrees Scorpio. So, in other words, when Sun passes 7 degrees Libra till uh, 15 degrees Scorpio, we have more bottom turning points. Okay, now do this. Now run Ulia model. Universal Language of Events. Here it is. 
and we will use here farm model. Farm model. Click farm, and next step we need to set this um, interval. This interval, uh, interval seven degrees Libra, uh, fifteen degrees Scorpio. Do it this way. Firstly, choose the planet. Planet here, Sun, and all cycle. This is Sun, Sun. So you need to set here uh, Sun. Here, Sun as well. Uh, zodiac ecliptic geo and here we need to um, here this place we need to set angle range uh, okay angle range uh, seven degrees libra okay libra uh, just sec libra seven degrees and uh, beginning of this interval and then the end of this interval till uh, 15 degrees Scorpio, okay, 15 degrees, 15 already here, here, and uh, Scorpio, okay, 7 uh, Libra, um, 15 Scorpio, now click OK, and you see put a uh, program, I uh, will set uh, necessary parameters uh, for here and orb, so this way we will set this uh, uh, event when Sun, Sun, Geo, passes this interval 7 Libra uh, 15 Scorpio okay click OK and uh, no, just calculate just to check how it works you see this is only event it represents this date uh, by the way it uh, coincides with uh, this uh, predictable zones uh, displayed uh, this is uh, it displays on a projection line composite projection line we highlighted this interval it this interval is highlighted here it it coincides with uh, this um, uh, where this event uh, next step let's check all cycles one by one we are looking uh, predictable zones for different astro cycles uh, actually i recommend to do this you can do it manually but you can uh, use standard feature here click this button just a sec a sec and I will uh, choose next cycle Venus synodic cycle this is angle separation between uh, between uh, Venus and Sun in heliocentric system here it is it seems to me it does not work you see uh, everything it's uh, even uh, distributed it's uh, no no clusters here so no patterns here okay next cycle uh, Mars Saturn heliocentric Oh, yes, good, good. You see this predictable zones. We have more predictable zones when uh, angle separation between Mars, Saturn, Helio. Mars, Saturn, Helio, look at here. Uh, passes this interval. We will highlight this interval. And you see program shows that this interval corresponds uh, 30, uh, 36, uh, 117. Okay, we'll um, add one more predictable zone. Uh, click here, do this. Uh, okay, this is angle separation, so set it areas. Areas. And now we'll put here uh, 3622. 3622. First angle, uh, seven, uh, next angle, 117, uh, 35. 117. 35. And don't forget the set the angle. This is Mars Saturn Helio. Okay, I do it this way. Uh, Mars, just a sec. Saturn. Helio. Helio. Do not mix. First planet should be Mars. Mars is here. Second planet, this is Saturn. Uh, Zodiac Helio. And click add. We have, we have now, now we have one more predictable zone. We can calculate it. I look at, I will look at how second events looks. I click here. Type here L2. And I will see. Okay. Okay, just a sec. Okay, my friends, you see, I made mistake. You see, I set here the angle. I set here the planets. Sat Saturn, Mars, Helio. Helio. Saturn, Mars, Helio. And after that, I need to click this button. This button. Ok. 
okay it sets uh, the angle here uh, and orb and now click calculate and we will get this event that uh, corresponds these predictable zones you see here it is and here it is uh, okay let's check another predictable zones uh, just sec i will click here and next uh, mercury phase mercury synodic cycle maybe there is some cluster here i don't know uh, mercury helio oh <laughs> interesting you see uh, here it is i will highlight it Okay, 16 degrees Virgo, 20, um, uh, 29 degrees Capricorn. So, Mercury, position Helio. Okay, we'll create a third predictable zones. Mercury, Mercury, position, it's, it means Mercury, Mercury. Uh, Helio, Helio, yeah, it's Helio. Mercury Helio. And now we will set predictable zones. Um, uh, Virgo, 16 degrees Virgo. Okay, we will set uh, interval here. Virgo, 16 degrees. Zero, zero. And uh, second angle, uh, 29 Capricorn. Zero, 29. Capricorn. And now Mercury, Mercury, Helio. Now click OK. Click OK and you will see you will see new angle here. Click OK. And now we have three predictable zones. Uh, let's check more. Maybe we'll let, uh, uh, find some more predictable zones. Uh, OK. Venus, Helio. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Mars Helio, nothing. Moon Face, usually Moon does not work. Uh, next, uh, some Mercury angles. Just a sec, I will check uh, uh, other angles. Mercury angles, uh, Mercury, Venus Helio. Oh, Mercury, Venus, Venus Helio, it's okay, good, good. I will highlight these uh, predictable zones. So we have more. Uh, tops and bottom turning points when angle separate, uh, uh, separation between Mercury and Venus in heliocentric uh, uh, coordinates uh, passes this angle uh, 56 degrees, 150 degrees. Okay, uh, I will create ma one more predictable zones. Uh, Mercury, uh, Venus, angle separation between Mercury and Venus. Do not mix. Uh, first should be Mercury, second should be Venus. Uh, heliocentric. And now I will set uh, this angle. Um, this is angle, so I need to set uh, areas. And uh, what is that? Uh, 50, um, 56. 56 degrees. Okay, let's, it doesn't matter. It's accuracy. And uh, 150 degrees. Okay. Uh, click OK. I will check once again Mercury, Venus, Helio, uh, 56, 150 degrees. Click OK. You see uh, this value changed. And now I will click Add. I will create one more predictable zone uh, based on uh, Mercury and Venus uh, angle separation. And now click Calculate. Uh, let's uh, click Calculate and we will get uh, some indicator. Oh, no, no, just a sec. I will show you one more thing. I uh, will make superposition of the, all this event. Just a sec. L1 plus, sorry, L2 plus L3 plus L4. Oh, sorry. L4. Oh, oh, my. Okay. You see superposition of all these predictable zones. I calculate and we'll get uh, this uh, projection line. You see this indicator that shows uh, how many uh, probability of um, turning points. You can add more uh, predictable zones here. 
Uh, so the parameters I recommend to play, you see, click here, orbs figure, figure. Here it is, and uh, by default, uh, it's, uh, you see aspects, it displays aspect this way. But maybe uh, to build this indicator, maybe use uh, this const, constant. Because we do not use orb here, like click calculate here, and uh, uh, this, projection uh, this projection line, it will be like a counter, counter. You see, uh, for this moment, for, for this moment, uh, one, two, three, four predictable zones work. But by, by the way, there are no turning points for this moment. But uh, whatever, it's, uh, we, uh, this is about statistic. Uh, maybe we need to add more turning points. Uh, one more thing. If you need, uh, you can, uh, okay, I will save this uh, chart and um, class, class, class. Uh, December, um, December 8, and uh, I can send you this uh, this worksheet uh, with this uh, model. Um, and there are more options here. You see, you can uh, add own uh, turning points or own uh, own dates here. Like you see, here it is here uh, fundamentals, fundamentals, and in fundamentals. Uh, I already create list of uh, different events. I, for example, I create list of uh, panic dates. Panic dates. I click here fundamentals, and now uh, panic dates. And now program will show. Uh, uh, I will create. It will show distribution for panic dates regarding. Uh, uh, astronomical angles. So we can build this indicator for panic dates as well. Uh, so this is what we have in time and solution. Thank you.